Hello, I'm Lou and welcome to my channel. I'm really excited for this week's video. I've received the latest Upcrate subscription box. This one is number 43. So yeah, let's check out what we've got inside and make some art with it. Oh, cool. Really bright orange color. Very similar to the Artful box in last week's video. I'll take everything out and then I'll have a closer look. I'll leave that to the last. Um, so yeah, let's check out what we've got here. So we've got a really quirky little character there. Oh, something's just popped out and I can see some little googly eyes in there by the looks of it. That's really cool. I'm quite intrigued. Okay, we've got quite a lot going on in this box. Um, so first off the bat, we have the Cray Pass Expressionist Extra Fine Quality Oil Pastels. Okay, there's 12 colors, uh, 10 mil by 71 mil. Wow, that's really cool. And they look like quite bright, bright colors. Mm, I'm impressed just by this alone. I'm really impressed with what we've got in the box. Um, and we also have a Van Gogh oil color, um, and this is in yellow light. Um, again, a very bright color and quite a big tube as well. Um, this one is 40 mils. Very nice. We've had Van Gogh before, I think it's a really good quality brand. We also have Amsterdam Standard Series Acrylic Paint. This one is in Cobalt Blue, Ultramarine. And this one's 20 mils, Royal Talons. There we go. And we have, again, a nice bright orange, Vermilion in the same Amsterdam Standard Series Acrylic Paint, 20 mils, Royal Talons. Okay, so we've got right here some really vibrant colours as well as the oil pastels and we've also got art space sorry the light is glaring a little bit in glitter very shiny I hope it's um, eco-friendly we'll have a look and uh, we've so that one's like a silver and this one's a pur purpley pink the same brand and then we also have um, a flat uh, size 14 practice um, so these are the art supplies so we get a, hu a huge amount of art supplies in this box a bit intrigued by the googly eyes and the glitter um, I'll have a look at the bottle post in a moment and um, we have a sticker sheet here some really cool cool art there okay we have paint on Clairefontaine paper and we have amazing three sheets as usual with a print on it so I'm hoping that that's the back side and the plain side is the, the side that you paint on Wow, okay. Interesting. It's a very interesting art piece. Um, it's by iris.impressions.art. And there's some of the other art from this artist. So it's the Artist of the Month. Okay. And then we have the bottle post, which has a brief description of everything in this box. Um, and then highlights the featured artist, the co-captain, and then there's going to be like tips and tricks of how to use the art supplies. And then right at the back there, um, a good way of mixing the paints and the oil pastels. 
uh, to get something like expand the color range and even with the glitter that's quite cool and then we have the upgrade battle for um, January these are really cool I love this one I saw this one on Instagram so clever I really like that as well well they're all pretty good actually I love that and then we have the upgrade battle for this month so this one is expression over perfection okay I thought I have to admit these um these prompts these challenges are very well challenging I guess um, really have to think about it so yeah so this is everything in this month's box um, yeah I'm, I'm quite intrigued of how they're going to work together um, so yeah I'll, I'll have a think and um, yeah let's let's make some art so I'll do the swatching um, of all the art supplies and see how they work together um, and then I'll jump in with the art piece and um, so I'll see you at the end of the video enjoy the time lapse Okay, so I just thought I'd jump in before I did the swatch in. I wanted to do a little bit of research on these glitters because um, I am all about the environment. I want to do my part to protect the environment um, and the majority of glitters in the world are not environmentally safe. Um, so I, I just wanted to check that these were, unfortunately, I cannot find anything um, in the bottle post to say that they are eco-friendly. Um, I've even researched the company Artspace and I cannot find them anywhere on Google. Um, so without it being confirmed, I, I don't think I'll use these glitters. Um, I, I, I'm sure um, but, uh, Upcrate has done their research and they are um, supportive of the environment. Um, and these are um, eco-friendly but without them being confirmed I'm not going to use them um, I know that sounds really harsh um, but I just want to do my part for the environment um, so I will not be using these glitters in this video Seen island. 
sense open spaces Serengeti sun slowly rise Give 
Okay, so we're at the end of the video and this is the illustration that I created. I have to say I am absolutely over the moon with this one. I know it's messy, um, it's not perfect, but I absolutely love it. Um, I didn't want to go down the same lines as the featured artist. I wanted to do something a little bit different. And when I did the unboxing and saw these googly eyes, my thought immediately went straight to frogs. Don't ask me why, um, but I really wanted to do a little froggy character. Um, expression to me it doesn't have to be a facial expression it could be an expression of movement um, such as dance um, so that's kind of where my head went uh, that's how I was, how I was directing um, to this and yeah I uh, looked up a couple of references of frogs and um, I was lucky to find some uh, photos where frogs have been captured um, in a specific move such as this one where it kind of looks like it's dancing um, so I did draw this froggy here um, and then I kind of wanted to wanted it to have a companion uh, also dancing and so yeah I, I drew this little character here so these two were references but when I drew them I actually thought it was off on composition like the composition wasn't quite right um, so I needed to draw another little froggy here um, so this is my little wallflower frog just in the background looking on um, with these two having a great time um, this one was off of me muscle memory so there was no um, reference with this one and I have to say I think he's absolutely adorable um, the eyes themselves I was going to use these eyes on this frog here but I wanted depth of field so I used the biggest eyes albeit these ones 
uh, for this frog and then the medium eyes and then the small eyes at the back so it showed the depth of field uh, with this frog being at the front and this one being at the back um, and I, th I think it looks really <laughs> cute um, to be honest uh, so yeah so this was where I ended up uh, so expression over perfection I don't know if I've hit the brief or not um, it's not perfect um, uh, it's definitely got an expression um, all three of them really um, but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure if I've hit the brief at all uh, I'll start at the beginning my whole process so I drew out um, my composition so I actually used the color peps pencils so we actually had one of these in a previous video uh, uh, box um, and I love them so much my my husband actually bought me the whole set um, and I have to say these are very much better than the color race pencils so I do use these um, now um, but I used the orange one for the lily pad and the green one for the frogs just to differentiate between the two so when it came to using the oil pastels and the um, and the lily pad um, it was a bit easier um, I then jumped in with the oil pastels and then layered and blended with those um, as this is quite a small um, piece it was a bit difficult to get the detail um, but as I say it doesn't have to be perfect as part of the prompt I guess um, so I tried to be as perfect as I could but it, 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 you're just not going to get that at this scale um, I did that with the frogs and the lily pad and then I came in and painted the background with the orange acrylic and immediately regretted it so I then waited for that to dry and then came in with the blue acrylic uh, uh, acrylic um, I had to do a couple of layers because I actually did dilute the paint a little bit um, if I hadn't done that I think it would have covered quite nicely um, they do they are very nice colors and they, they are um, very pigmented and cover quite well um, but yeah I just uh, decided to do the blue instead I then went over that with the um, oil pastels again the oil pastels over the acrylic aren't as pigmented they're quite um, transparent um, so you can't get the same coverage but it still did the job I'm still quite happy with it um, I was a little bit more loose with um, creating the detail in the uh, backdrop and the water so it is a bit rough and ready but that was kind of what I wanted again try not to be overly perfect um, I wanted to make sure that I used the oil colour in this piece um, and the thing the thing is with oil uh, paints it, they, they take a day and an age to dry um, I actually I actually did this well I did the swatching a few days ago so it's actually been a couple of days since I actually did the art piece um, and the um, paint is still um, still wet uh, so it takes a, a very long time to dry so I, I, I wanted to be very very limited in using this oil color but I still wanted to incorporate it into this piece um, it takes a long time to to get the oil paint out of the brush as well uh, because it is oil um, so I had to wash it a few times and it's still there's still some paint in there um, but yeah I, I, I used it I basically used the end of the paintbrush and then dabbed it so um, I created like this blurry flowers in the background um, I just wanted that vibrancy there and still used the or orange acrylic as well so I just put a little bit over the top of that again to create texture as well um, the paintbrush itself I'm not a fan of it to be honest um, it frays very easily um, the bristles are coming out um, it's not so easy to get detail with it um, I'm not uh, to be honest with you I'm just not a fan of flat brushes I prefer rounds um, which is probably why I'm a little bit more negative about it um, but yeah um, not not the best brush to be honest um, but it did the job for this this one 
um, and then yeah I came in at the end with um, putting the googly eyes and um, uh, initially I wanted the small eyes on this froggy here um, but I wanted to give that depth of field so I switched it up so I had the bigger eyes on this one then the medium and then the small at the back so it showed depth of field um, and I think I think it worked really well um, the paper works very nicely with the oil pastels with the paint however I do not like it when they when they put a print on the on there like we I've put oil pastels over there and it still comes through um, I'm not overly happy that they needed to brand the paper that you're using um, so yeah I wish they hadn't have done that I'm sure I, I did have a look to see if I could have used the back but um, the tutorials in the magazine shows um, people or the, the artists using the side with the print on it so that's the side that I used um, and of course I haven't used the glitter but I don't think I need it in this piece anyway um, so yeah so this is what I created what would you have created using the prompt expression over perfection do you think I've hit the brief please do leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this box um, but yeah please do give me a like share and a subscribe and I'll see you next time thank you for watching take care bye